In today's video, I'll be showing you how to blur faces using the mosaic effect inside CapCut. The first thing I'm going to do is add my video clips. This is the main footage and will appear in the main timeline inside the CapCut project like this. After checking the format to make sure that it's 16 by 9 because I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube, I will add an overlay. In order to blur faces or anything else inside CapCut, you need to add an overlay. Tap on Overlay from the main toolbar and then Add Overlay. And make sure you add the exact same clip that you just added. Tap in the circle in the right hand corner, then tap on Add. Swipe over and tap on Remove Background and CapCut will begin removing the background from your overlay layer. When this number reaches 100%, the background will be successfully removed. Don't close your app or lock the screen while this is happening because if you do, you'll have to repeat this part of the process as it will not work properly. I've sped this up so you don't have to watch the entire process, but it does take some time depending on the length of your video. When you remove the background, it will be much easier to apply the circular mask and final mosaic effect to your video clip. The background has been successfully removed. Let me show you what that did. Swipe over and tap on Opacity. When the slider comes up, bring the slider down to zero. Move it all the way to the left, like this. You should see your subject in front of a black background. I'll bring the opacity back up to 100% and select the overlay layer one more time. Next, you need to add a circular mask. This is because faces are round. With your overlay selected, swipe over and tap on Mask. It's right next to the chroma key option. This is what you see when you open the mask toolbar. Tap on circle to select it. Make sure the mask widget surrounds the entire face of your subject. You will see why shortly. Once you've applied the circular mask, although you can't see it, you can now apply the effects. Choose effects from the main toolbar and then video effects. Then tap on basic. This is where you want to choose your effect. Tap on Mosaic to choose it, and then tap the check mark. Long press on the purple effect bar located underneath the main footage. Long press and drag the end out all the way to the end of the video because you'll want to blur the face of your subject for your entire video. Notice that the effect is applied to the main layer. So next, select the effect, tap on Object, and choose Overlay. The effect has been applied to the overlay layer. Play the clip once more to check that your subject's face does not become separated from the blurred area. If it did, you could either add some keyframes to correct it or just make your circular mask bigger. That's what I did in this case. No keyframing is required. That looks pretty good. Tap on the export icon to export the video and wait patiently for it to finish. Once again, don't lock your screen or close CapCut while this is happening because if you do, the video may not export properly and you'll have to repeat the export process. When the export is completed, you can find the final clip inside your camera roll. Recently, I was asked how to share videos you've exported from CapCut. When the export is complete, and just before you tap done, you'll see some social media icons appear underneath your exported video. Once you've exported the video, you can tap on one of these icons to automatically share it on the social media platform of your choice. The choices are WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and you may even be able to share 
to TikTok. When the export is finished, you can find the exported video inside your camera roll. There are the social media icons. I am flying to BC with my boyfriend Mike and it's my very first time on a plane that I've, I've never flown before so I'm so excited. This is like one of my dream come true. A very big dream come true for me. Um, I'm so excited for the new adventures that I'm going to have with him and his family. We're going to his stepbrother's wedding which I'm so excited for and we're going to be camping on a beautiful island and I get to spend a lot of time with his family and, uh, and just get away from my everyday life and it's something that I have never been more excited about doing than this. It's something that I'm dr I've, been, I've been literally dreaming about for like a couple months now. I'm, I'm just thrilled. I'm so excited. I feel like jumping up and down. I'm so excited. And to go on a plane, like, yeah, it's scary because I've never been on one. But the adrenaline and the excitement that I have, like the rush, the feeling that I have in me right now, I'm gonna, I feel like screaming. I'm so excited because I'm leaving in 20 days and I'm so excited. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. I get to go away. I'm gonna be away on my birthday. So we're gonna have a special time in BC for my birthday with Mike and his family and I'm so excited and I love you Mike.